What's up, YouTube? This is Power Surge and everyone's favorite dog co-host, Buffy. We wanted to do a video for you today about the Uber lawsuit. There are many lawsuits going down right now against Uber, but I want to do one in particular pertaining to California drivers. It's been going on since 2013, but I recently got an email updating me on the status of this lawsuit. So I wanted to share it with you guys just to tell you what's going on. Let's see. Dear Uber driver, you are getting this because you are a member of a certified class action we brought against Uber for violating California wage laws by not reimbursing drivers for their expenses, including expenses for leasing or owning their vehicles, maintaining the vehicles, gas, insurance, etc., and also for representing to passengers that tips are included in the fare but not distributing any portion of the fare to its drivers as tips. We have asserted that Uber is responsible for those payments because it has misclassified drivers as independent contractors. The federal judge in our case has agreed that these claims are valid and that they can go to trial. We started this case in 2013 and the case was certified as a class action in 2015 on behalf of most Uber drivers in California. This is the original case that was filed against Uber for misclassifying drivers. It's called O'Connor vs. Uber Technologies. However, Uber has been fighting hard to try to decertify this class by enforcing an arbitration agreement it is required all drivers to accept. If Uber is successful, that would mean that only drivers who sign up to bring these claims individually would be able to recover any money if we are successful in this case. They continue on to say they're sending this email to find out if I would like to have them continue to pursue these claims for me individually if necessary in the event that Uber enforces arbitration clause and decertifies this class. So it's obviously a class action lawsuit meaning they're bringing a large party of people together and they're eventually going to try and win some kind of settlement and dispense that to everybody and Uber is trying to say that it can't be a class action lawsuit and that drivers by themselves have to be suing Uber individually for their losses. So they basically just sent out an email to say are you guys on board with us representing you even if this uh, case no longer is a class action and so obviously I have responded yes to their thing that they sent me and um, I believe that the case will probably win it's probably a good thing because somewhere in the advertising when uber was in its earlier days they told everybody that uber pays tips or not that they pay tips but the tips are included or that the fare is so high tip is unnecessary and that is sort of misleading and advertising to the riders and on a personal note I believe tipping is a good thing and it's up to the riders discretion anytime you have a situation where you tip for restaurant service or for valet service or a taxi ride or an Uber ride, the quality of the service is what determines the tip, whether you should tip at all in an Uber case or if it should be a really good tip or really bad tip for a restaurant. But I always tip fairly well and I give my Uber drivers $2 at minimum, even if it's a short ride, because if everyone gave $2, it would make a substantial difference to that driver's night. If he takes 10 rides, $2 is $20. That can be an extra pat on the back that really helps you pay for gas or whatever it is that Uber is not paying you because they're being sued for misrepresenting us. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this lawsuit. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Buffy's falling asleep on me. And as always, have a great day.